It's a how-to series. I'm going to talk about the setup that you see in front of me, in my dry fire area. Um, the start position is in front of a barricade with a low window and the target I need, the first target I need to engage is right in front of me. So there are actually two possibilities for me to uh, use um, to solve this and this is something that you will find commonly in, uh, in uh, stages and matches. Um, there are actually two options, either I kneel, I go to a kneeling position to engage the target in front of me uh, through the window or I go to a crouching position to engage the target. The first technique I'm going to talk about is the kneeling position and I'm going to discuss the basics uh, and a couple of points of attention. Obviously, um, I recommend that in any situation where you have to get uh, down on one or maybe even on two knees, I really recommend that you wear uh, knee protectors. Um, you can buy some at the, uh, the quality of the good uh, IPSC stores, uh, but anything to protect your knees is actually fine. Just um, check if they fit and if they feel good and that they don't hinder you too much in the movement um, as soon as you um, stop the kneeling position, you get up and you move back. Um, because nothing is as bothersome as a knee protector that slips down, that is too tight, that limits the movement of your leg and so forth. I'm a right hand shoulder, so I'm gonna get down on my uh, strong uh, leg and knee, which is my right knee. And in this scenario, the starting position is right in front of the barricade and I have to engage the target through this window. Now in this scenario, uh, what I have to do is I have to take a step back because the barricade is hindering me. Um, in uh, a later scenario, I will discuss what you can do if you can take a step forwards. But basically the techniques are, except a couple of uh, modifications, the same. So standing relaxed at the beep, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a step back, but not straight. So I'm not going to do this. If you want to go to a kneeling position, it is highly recommended that you take a step back approximately 45 degrees to the back. So your strong foot, you will put it approximately 45 degrees behind you. So not straight, 45 degrees. The further you can um, pull back your, uh, your foot, the broader, the wider the feet are from each other and the more stable the position is going to be. So the first thing I do is take a step back and then I'll get down on my knees and whilst I'll get down I'll pull my gun and start to point it towards the target area. When I get down I will actually put my weight to the front. What I will not do is I will not lean backwards and what I will certainly not do is to sit on my rear leg because that's a very unstable position and it will also cost you a little more time going out from this position. So take a step back, pull your gun and engage your target. As far as your uh, feet are concerned, uh, make sure that you have a stable base. If you go straight behind you, you're not going to have a stable base. So make sure that your foot is approximately 45 degrees to the back. And this is a very good location to actually engage the target. To get up, remove the finger from the trigger, and then depending on whether or not you need to go left, right, uh, or backwards to your next uh, location. Again, fast. Imagine that you can start a little further away from the barricade, but you still have to go down either on your knees or uh, in a crouching position. 
Um, in the first scenario, we took a step back. In this scenario, we'll actually take a step forwards. So first, the kneeling position. I don't see the target in front of me, so I have to go. I have to get down. What I'll do is uh, similar to the kneeling position with stepping backwards. I'm going to do the same thing, but now I'm going to step forwards. And again, approximately in a 45 degree angle to get down on my knees. And while I'm doing that, I will pull my gun and start engaging the target. So slow, in slow motion, it will look like this. Pick up my gun and engage the target. Again, look at my body position. I'm not leaning backwards, I'm leaning forwards engaging the target. I'm not resting on my back leg either. So if I need to get up, I get up. Use a drop step technique to move to either location. Again, but fast. The second option you have to solve this problem is to go into a crouching position. Um, the difference between kneeling and crouching is based on a number of factors like your uh, length, your weight, your muscles, your flexibility and also your personal preference. So you have shooters that in this scenario really prefer to go down on one knee to, on one knee to engage other shooters will actually go to a crouching position to solve it. There is a timing difference. Um, as a general rule, I would say that if you go to a kneeling position, you lose uh, a tenth of seconds uh, compared to a crouching position. But again, if you are in an uncomfortable situation and you need to engage the target, uh, I would also think that uh, you would lose more time, so this is really up to your personal preference. Um, I would recommend to train this in a dry fire uh, scenario or even better in a live fire scenario to see what takes away your preference. If you go to a crouching position, it's important to get a wide base and then depending on how low you need to, uh, to go to engage the target. So in this scenario, I would recommend to uh, take a step back and to the side. In the meantime, uh, take out your gun and engage the target. It would look like this. Here, try to get a wide base and depending on the terrain, Make sure that you are uh, that you put your weight on the inner portion of your feet when you go down on your knees. Again, don't lean backwards. Lean as much forwards as possible, and then you can get up. Use the drop step technique to move to either location. So again. Standing in front of the of the barricade, it would look like this. This is the crouching position. If we want to use the crouching position from this stance, it's the same thing as we did before, even easier. I will broaden my stance, and in the meantime, I will pull my gun pointed at the target and start to engage. Make sure that your feet are wide, slightly pointed outwards. So not inwards, not straight, but slightly pointed outwards and that you actually rest your weight on the inside of your feet. And as much as you can, try to keep your body in a forward position. Your positioning of the arms is also up to your personal preference. Um, it is not uncommon to pull in the gun slightly, but this is again up to your personal preference. Again, that's fast. 